Hey guys, good evening one and all and welcome to the video. This uh, video, I'm going to share a very interesting um, uh, problem that I encountered while I was working, right? So uh, we were essentially, when I was working with my team now, uh, we had this massive files on S3, okay? These files were in order of gigabytes, five gigabytes of file, we had to download it. Well, I tried Boto3 S3 client, we ran into errors, uh, you know. So then I was like, okay, how can I download massive zip file or any sort of massive file from S3? So, you know, this led me to, you know, do some research, stack overflow as usual, you know, and I would like to share the solution in here because um, I know a lot of people do work with S3 and there are massive objects, right? So I'm pretty sure someone might have encountered this error. So this would help those people if they are looking for those questions, uh, if they're looking for answers for those questions. Um, let me share my screen. Uh, please let me know once you see my um, screen. I have a small implementation uh, I can show you and I'll walk you over the code. So I just wanna run the code then show you. Uh, right now I just started the code. It uses threads, right? It uses maximum 10 threads, right? So uh, that you can see it's a, f a five gigabyte file from S3, right? Uh, we are downloading into test.zip and you also have a progress bar. You can see how much it's being downloaded. So yeah, I finally figured out all this. So downloading massive files from S3, right? Before that, uh, I would go to this official documentation of uh, 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 AWS Boto3, right? Uh, hopefully, I think my Zoom. Okay, so here they have said that, okay, download file. Um, they have said, uh, oops, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, download file. So over here, you can see um, S3, you have to create a, this is a resource object. We want to use the client object. Let me see if I can go back because I, I'm trying to use the client object. So if we go to download file here, okay. Um, so over here, um, essentially they create a Boto3 resource object, but you could do the same thing, same thing with the client object. I've done with the client object, so I'm gonna show you the implementation, okay? It takes a bucket, it takes a key, it takes a file name, a callback function and a config. Now you could read more on the config side. Uh, as I said, if you really wanna go deep into that, you could um, specify maximum concurrency. How many threads do you want? Uh, you could specify IO chunks. You wanna use the thread, this should be true, right? So the documentation is there. So I'll just show you the implementation part here uh, because um, so I made a helper class that does all the operation on S3. So this will essentially get you the size of a file in gigabytes, kilobytes, whatever that is. Put file is used to insert an item into S3. Item exists, given a key returns a boolean whether an item is exist or not. Get item will essentially give you the blob data. Find one and update, if a key is there, uh, it's gonna update the data, right? Delete object, as you know, get all keys, gives you all the keys from S3. Print tree, it would print the S3 um, tree structure. Find one similar keys, uses regular expression to find keys. Um, so this one, right, download files. Um, so uh, first of all, I would like to thank Stack Overflow as usual, you know, I found out some of the code snippet from here so I could, you know, take that and I, I could use it. So download file, uh, we are doing a try object. Here we are saying self.client.download file. We provide the bucket name, we provide the key, we provide the file name. This is the file that's gonna be downloaded locally, config, transfer config, maximum concurrency as 10. Use thread as true, which means I wanna use threads to download that. We are providing a callback function as a progress bar. This is the one that I have taken from Stack Overflow, okay? Uh, so I'll leave the links there as well. So um, all these things essentially allows you to download massive files of order of five gigabytes into chunks and into pieces. And you can also have a nice progress bar. What I will do is I'm pretty sure a lot of people, you know, they run into errors and, and I, as I said, right, myself when I was working on this, uh, I had these massive files that I had to move and I was like, okay, it seems like I was getting memory errors. So I was like, okay, there has to be something, right? So I started, re you know, Googling, going to the doc uh, going to the official documentation and this is what I found. I would leave the code in the description section below. So maybe if you want to use it, check the snippets out. Uh, hopefully that will uh, benefit you. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, and if anyone has encountered this problem, the entire code is there here. Hopefully that you can use the code uh, and this will solve your problem for now. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling, keep programming. See you guys in the next video.